I think for the Workers' Party, not everything is black and white. When it's too bright, it becomes too blinding for anyone to see properly. Too dark, it will be hard to look for a way around. What we hope to achieve is to create contrast, a balance so that you can see clearly the road ahead. My strongest early memory was running around, playing in the corridor of the three-room flat in Commonwealth Drive. One of my first memories is visiting my grandma at her drink stall in a hawker centre. I think the most memorable moment growing up in Singapore uh, must have been for me that Singapore lifting the Malaysia Cup in 1994. Even though they came from different backgrounds, they were able to unite Singapore through football. Singapore has definitely evolved, uh, be it in finance, technology, our standard of living, awareness of current affairs and politics. I signed the forms to join the Workers' Party in November 2001, nearly 20 years ago. I joined WP for many reasons, but the most significant one was to show the rest there's nothing wrong with standing with the opposition, there's nothing to fear. For the same reason that there should be more than one telco, more than one car maker, more than one healthcare company, healthy competition breeds better outcomes. Political outreach is at the heart of what we do in the Workers' Party. We do our outreach programs like uh, hammer sales. Hammer sales don't equate to selling hammers. Our outreach involves selling our hammer newsletter almost every weekend. For me as a member of parliament, I also have my Meet the People sessions every week. I help in the Meet the People session as a case writer. I won't say it's hard, but it is challenging at times because I begin to understand the people and their different worries. As Vice Chairman of the Town Council, I work in the Town Council office helping with day-to-day -day operations. As an Aljunit Haugang Town Councillor, I help make decisions in the best interests of the residents. Grassroots events are an opportunity for us to get to know the residents better. At grassroots events, I was roped in to take photos for WP social media. Not sure why I was asked to do that, but maybe it's because I'm young. And of course, our bread and butter, which is the house visits, the coffee shop walks. When I go on weekly house visits um, alongside the other volunteers, uh, the one thing that really strikes me is their dedication and their commitment to the cause. It's never easy to consistently come to help out in opposition activities. Because it really isn't easy. I mean, you have to do like several house visits a week, on top of market walks, on top of hammer sales, and on top of party events. So the fact that the volunteers continue to do this week in, week out, I think that really keeps me going on a personal level. I volunteered for food distribution and I found that to be very meaningful because essentially you are getting to connect, you are really contributing to their day-to-day -day lives. I think one of the myths in volunteering with WP is that everything is political. This is not the case at all. The truth is, many Singaporeans, especially those who may be a little guarded initially, are warm and often receptive when they get to know you. We were out on house visits and basically this guy came running up to us and charging at us with an umbrella and we literally thought he was going to attack us. But what happened the next moment was he randomly opened his umbrella and we realised it was a WP umbrella and he was trying to show his support. People you meet have expectations of the Workers' Party. They have their own views and they want to ask us questions. It makes it worthwhile to stay and listen. That's how we learn and understand everyone's point of view. The experience I gained has been invaluable and made me determine that we must always keep improving our standards one block at a time. The major difference with WP work is that you understand that you're also part of a bigger movement, one that hopes to offer an alternative voice for Singaporeans. Whether it's about protecting the economic interests of Singaporeans who just want a fairer shot at providing for their families, or whether it's about keeping government fair and just, the faith that Singaporeans have put in us is too important to give up on. And to that extent, we must guard against groupthink. I think what should unite us as a people is not that we all support one political party or one set of political views, and to have representatives from different political parties I think will be good for Singapore. To me, Singapore is a country where many different lives are united by hope and not fear of the future. I want to build a democratic system that everyone has a collective say. One person might not be able to effect a change, but with unity and solidarity, 
we will get there. I promise Singapore that Workers' Party will always be honest, compassionate, and ever ready to fight for their rights. For Singaporeans who need their voices to be heard, for a more united and less polarised society, and for our politics to operate on a transparent and level playing field. I hope to see elected Workers' Party members of Parliament representing Singaporeans in Parliament. They must scrutinise policies, tax plans and budgets very closely, fight for the aspirations of Singaporeans and fearlessly voice the concerns of their constituents. I hope to see more Singaporeans interested in politics, in things that affect them, and not to feel that there's nothing much they can do. Everybody has a part to play. My name is Lillian. I am from the Workers' Party. My name is Nicole, Cheryl, Leon, Raisa, Sylvia Lim, Dennis Tan, Fadli, Kenneth, Vidishkra, Jameis. My name is Pritam, and I am from the Workers' Party.